Welcome inside the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center on the campus of Wheaton College in Norton, Massachusetts. Tonight, we have the Women's Volleyball 2022 season opener. It's a non-conference matchup between the Wheaton College Lions versus the UMass Dartmouth Corsairs. This is Sal Lopez in the call today for the New Max Sports Network, and we welcome you into the broadcast. Both of these teams will play their first game of the season tonight. Wheaton College from the New Mac and UMass Dartmouth from the Little East Conference. It's the beginning of the 49th season for the Wheaton College women's volleyball program dating back to 1974. UMass Dartmouth beginning their 52nd season for the Corsairs women's volleyball program. That's dating back to 1972 as UMass Dartmouth takes the 35-mile ride north up to Norton for this matchup. Last season, Wheaton College coming off its fourth straight season under head coach Craig Letourneau with at least 15 victories total. Wheaton going 15-10 and 10 overall in 2021. Finished tied for ninth place in the New Mac Conference with a 3-7 and seven overall record in conference play. UMass Dartmouth finishing 2021 with an 11-12 and 12 overall record. The Corsairs going 4-4 four and four in the Little East as they qualified for the number 6 seed in the Little East Conference Tournament. New coaching change for this season. Head coach Justin Turco for UMass Dartmouth replacing Samantha Amaral as the new head coach. Turco coming from Salisbury University out in Maryland where he spent the last nine years as the head coach of Salisbury University's women's volleyball program. That's where Turco finished with a record of 164 victories and 74 losses all time. This will be the 17th all-time meeting tonight between the two programs, and the series is tied at eight wins apiece. Both of these teams were supposed to play last season, but last season's matchup happened to get canceled. Wheaton College winning the last meeting here at home in Norton in 2017 in three sets. We take a look at the preseason conference predictions for both of these teams. Wheaton College selected seventh place in the New Mac preseason poll out of 11 teams in the conference. And UMass Dartmouth selected in 6th place out of 9 teams of the Little East Conference preseason poll. Big key for both of these teams happened to be roster retainment for this upcoming season. Crucial in the offseason, keeping the majority of their players on the roster. And experience happens to be key for these two programs. Both teams returning 6 players each who played in at least 80 sets last season. Wheaton College returning 9 of 13 players from last season's team, which finished with a 15-10 and 10 overall record. UMass Dartmouth bringing back 10 of 12 players from 2021. They also had zero players graduate. The Corsairs finished 11-12 and 12 last season, earning a sixth seed in the Little East Conference Tournament. Happened to be their first conference tournament appearance since 2010. Wheaton College this season, nine upper-class players, five seniors, four juniors, no sophomores. They have five freshmen First-year players representing the lineup, playing in their first action tonight for the Lions, representing 10 total states on the roster. UMass Dartmouth with just one senior in the roster this season, but they have five juniors, five sophomores, and five first-year players playing in their first matchup tonight. Some of the key players to look forward to in this matchup, that includes for the visiting UMass Dartmouth Corsairs. Their top kill leader, number 20, Kate Wade, sophomore outside hitter from San Clemente, California. She led UMass Dartmouth with 247 total kills last season, which ranked number three in the Little East, averaging 3.09 kills per set. Number 17, Devon Ling, junior outside hitter from El Dorado Hills, California. Number two on the team in 2021 with 191 total kills. Also averaged 3.29 digs per set. That was top 10 in the Little East last season. Number three kill leader from last season was Marley Alexander, number 21. She is the junior middle hitter from Ashburn, Virginia. She ranked top eight in the Little East last season with a hitting percentage of 317. The setter for UMass Dartmouth, that is Zoe DeCenzo, sophomore from Orange, Connecticut. Vanessa Barreto, the libero from Natick, Massachusetts, top 10 in the Little East last season, averaging just under 3.25 digs per set. And for Wheaton College, they returned their top kill leader, Bailey Madrick. The senior from Barrington, Illinois, leading Whedon with 230 total kills last season. Back for the Lions, Anna Shaheen, Emily Hickey, Juliana Flack. And then the setter, Hannah George. And in the back line, Sophie Wilhelm, the senior libero from Saunderstown, Rhode Island, along with Ariana Rajahi, senior defensive specialist from Marlboro, Connecticut. So coming up, we'll have some women's volleyball action here. But before we do so, we'll have... 
starting lineups and national anthem coming up next. This is Sal Lopez today in the call on the Newmax Sports Network. As we'll have Wheaton College versus UMass Dartmouth coming soon. Season opener here at the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center on the campus of Wheaton College in Northern Massachusetts. We'll be back in a couple moments.
God bless America. Let's play going on. And welcome inside the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center in the campus of Wiener College in Norton, Massachusetts. Tonight we have the women's volleyball season opener. It's between the Wheaton College Lions versus the UMass Dartmouth Corsairs. This is Sal Lopez today on the New Max Sports Network, and we welcome you into the broadcast. First game between these two teams this season. It's tied in the all-time meeting between these two programs. This will be the 17th all-time meeting between Whedon and UMass Dartmouth. Eight wins apiece for both of the programs. Whedon College left to right with the white uniforms, blue numbers, blue letters. UMass Dartmouth, dark blue jerseys, yellow numbers, yellow letters for this matchup. September 1st, with a new season upon us here for the 2022 Women's Volleyball Division III season. UMass Dartmouth from the Little East Conference, Wheaton College from the New Mac as UMass Dartmouth will get the ball here to serve first. Down the far line, played by number 24, Emily Hickey. And that goes too far past the back line by Hollis Hampson, first year player from Parker, Colorado. It's a point for the Corsairs. Played by Hickey, George. Roll shot sent by Hickey. George with a diving dig. Wilhelm, here's Hickey. Sends a right pass, number 20, gets the kill. Kate Wade tried to dig it up. First kill in the match by the senior outside hitter from Kenny Bunk, Maine, number 24, Emily Hickey for Whedon. Senior setter from Duxbury, Massachusetts. Here's Hannah George, who serves. Poked over the net. Whedon with an opportunity now. Hickey. Off the block. Horizontal. There'll be a point by Whedon. Two points to the board. Two kills by Emily Hickey. 114 total kills last season. Also missed six matches in 2021, but was number four on the team in kills. Another point by Weed and Madrick there at the front right side. Bailey Madrick coming off an incredible season last year as a junior, led Weed in with 230 total kills. Blocked again at the net. UMass Dartmouth looks to keep it alive. They will. Roll shot sent over by Monaco. George. Over the net goes by Hansen. Straight line right back to George. And the Corsairs get the point. Great start to the first set between these two teams. Three and three to two so far. UMass Dartmouth gets their first point since they led 1-0. Here's number 12, Vanessa Barreto, the senior from Natick, Massachusetts. Lone senior on the Corsairs. Hickey puts it over the net. Huge dig by Wilhelm in blue, number 23, senior captain. Hickey goes cross-court, played by the first-year libero, Emily Pogerlek. Hickey again with a roll shot that time. Porgolek able to play it. Hansen put it over the first time, but the Corsairs with a response back. That's the middle hitter, Junior from Ashburn, Virginia. Marley Alexander ties it up at three. Once again, Beretta will serve. Played by Wilhelm George with a set. Outside attack, Madrick strikes through. 
Right to the back corner, there she is. First kill in the match for number four, Bailey Magic. Senior right side hitter from Barrington, Illinois. A 277 hitting percentage, which ranked number 10 in the new Mac in 2021. 4 3 for the Lions. As Ari Ariana Rajahi, senior captain from Marlboro, Connecticut, substitutes into the match. First time today. And gets the ace. Rajahi with 23 service aces last season. That would have put the Wheaton College Lions up 5 to 3. Rajahi straight line serve. And there'll be a kill by the Corsairs right back. That's Marley Alexander, number 21, the middle hitter from Ashburn, Virginia. Great hitting percentage last season by Alexander. 317 hitting percentage, which ranked number seven in the Little East. Floating serve, George. Madrick blocked. Touching the net, though, by the Corsairs, point for Whedon. Here's number two, Hollis Hansen gets the ball now. First year player from Parker, Colorado. She's able to get the ace. Graces the back service line by Hansen and Whedon. Extending their lead 7-4, to four, largest lead so far in the first set. Beautiful spot right there with spin by Hansen. She will serve again. And that one too far past the back service line. Goes long. The ball will go back to the Corsairs. Here's Zoe Desenzo, the setter from Orange, Connecticut, sophomore. 641 total assists last season, leading UMass Dartmouth, averaging just under 7.7 .7 assists per set. Sixth in the Little East Conference. And now she will serve for the Corsairs, trailing by two in set number one. A little bit of a delay here in the action. UMass Dartmouth coached by a new head coach this season, Justin Turco. First season at the helm. Spent nine years as head coach for Salisbury University out in Maryland. Overall record of 164 victories and 74 losses. 16-10 and 10 record with Salisbury in 2021. His best record in 2013, 29-6. Making the 2013 NCAA Tournament. For Wheaton College, this is their 12th season under head coach Craig Letourneau. Overall record of 149 victories, 155 losses at Wheaton. Last four seasons, though, he has been quite successful, recording at least 15 victories in the past four seasons, turning around Wheaton's volleyball program now with 80 victories and 41 total losses during the past four seasons. Best record under Letourneau back in 2017. The Lions went 24-9 and made a NUMAC semifinal conference tournament appearance. Both of these teams returning the majority of their rosters in the offseason. Six players on each team who played at least 80 total sets last season. Whedon returning nine of 13 players from last season's team, which went 15 and 10. UMass Dartmouth bringing back 10 of 12 players from 2021. Had no players graduate. They finished 11 and 12 last season, earning a number six seed in the Little East Conference Tournament. Still currently on the break. In the action, once we do get back, UMass Dartmouth will have the ball to serve. So season opener today for women's volleyball.
and at Wheaton College back on Saturday coming up. Quick turnaround as they will have two games as part of a tri-match against Salem State and Emmanuel. We get back to action. Desenzo serves. Played first by Sydney Lyon, number 21. Spiked over the net. It's a point for the Lions. And here's Bailey Magic, the senior from Barrington, Illinois. Magic serves cross court. Kept alive for the moment, but not able to track it down was Barreto. And Magic able to get the ace. Once again, Magic will serve 9 to 5. Whedon leads. Down the far line, played first by Kate Wade. Poked over, played by Magic George with a set. Not enough over the top of the net by Kelleher. The Corsairs get the points, 9-6. Here's Kate Wade, number 20. Sophomore outside hitter from San Clemente, California. Rajahi, George, Magic sends it across the court, gets the kill. Nice court vision right there. Put it off the top of the fingertips of Zoe DeCenzo. Bailey Magic, the go-to kill leader. Entering the season for the Whedon College Lions. Leading Whedon in 2021 with 230 total kills. Hitting percentage of 277, which ranked number 10 in the new Mac. Played to the back row by Hanson. George sets up a hit over the net by Hickey. And wasn't able to poke it over by Chelsea Sanker, number eight. It's another point for the Lions. Timeout taken by UMass Dartmouth. 11 to six, Whedon leads in the first set here in Northern Massachusetts at the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center. We'll be back in a couple moments from now on the New Max Sports Network. And we welcome you back inside the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center on the campus of Whedon College in Norton, Massachusetts. Whedon, with their largest lead in the first set, they are up 11-6 against UMass Dartmouth. The Lions will get the ball. Here's number 21, Sydney Line, first-year player from Western Connecticut. Finds the middle with a kill. That's number 8, Chelsea Sanker, the sophomore from Pearland, Texas, for the Corsairs. Here's Emily Pogorelic, first year libero from Wayne, New Jersey. Number five serves, played by Lyon Wilhelm. The back, Magic, sends it over the net, right past Wade. And another point for Bailey, Magic. But that's Megan Kelleher, number 18, gets the point substitute out of the game, it's 12-7. Seen a couple of those so far today, going past the defense. Desenzo. Sanker able to get that one over the net, spiked. And couldn't keep it out in front off of Pogorelic and Ling. Whedon extends the lead 13-7.
So here's the libero in blue, Sophie Wilhelm, the senior from Saunders Town, Rhode Island. She serves cross court, played by Pogorelic. And a point for the Corsairs, striking on the near side. Number 18, Sabrina Bordeaux, the first year setter from Massapequa, New York, now serves. UMass Dartmouth trailing by five here in the first set. Corsair selected sixth out of nine teams of the Little East in the Little East Conference preseason poll. Wheaton College selected at number seven of 11 teams this season in the NUMAC. Hickey the first to play it. George Hickey outside pokes it over. Played by Wade. Cross court. Too far out. It's an attacking error charge to Devon Lang. Hannah George now will serve the senior from Duxbury, Mass. Battle four at the front of the net. And that's a point by Emily Hickey making an impact so far in this match. The senior from Kenny Buck, Maine. Wheaton College on the roll here in the first set. Extending it to their largest lead by seven, 15 to eight. Chance off the free ball. UMass Dartmouth though has it back. Here's Whedon with it. And Madrick finds the corner. So Whedon starting the roll here between Bailey Madrick and Emily Hickey. As George again serves, floats it, played by the libero Pogorelic. George sets up. Hansen. Another chance for Whedon. Here goes Madrick off the block. Ling back to Wilhelm. George Hickey off the net. Pogorelic twist and turn. George able to save it. Hickey again. Tapped over and it's out. And the Lions able to get the point. Long rally that time, but Whedon, the beneficiary of the point, up 17 to eight. Again, George, short floating serve. They send it over the third time by Monaco. George sets up a right side attack. Madrick off the net, skips down. It's another kill by Bailey Madrick. And now the lead goes to double digits. Eighteen to eight, the score now, Whedon leads. And a timeout on the floor once again by Justin Turco, the Corsairs. Wheaton College rolling here in the first game of the season, as we'll be back in a couple moments on the New Max Sports Network. Set number one, 18 to eight, Wheaton College leads as we welcome you back inside the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center on the campus of Wheaton College in Norton, Massachusetts. Season opener for a women's volleyball action in the first set. This is Sal Lopez today on the call on the New Max Sports Network. Lions get the ball again. Hannah George, plenty full with a serving as a late, serves it over the net. Blocked at the net. And the Lions able to get the point, double touch by the Corsairs.
Here's George once again, who will serve. Played first by Pogorelic. Strong hit over the nets by the top kill leader for the Corsairs last season, Kate Wade. And missing the mark wide of the antenna sent by Hickey. So it's a point for UMass Dartmouth. Number 12, the senior from Natick, Natick, Massachusetts, Vanessa Barreto now will serve. 37 service aces last season for Barreto. Floats at cross court, played first. George, off the block, sent by Hickey. Wade, dug up by Wilhelm. George, Magic, cross court hit over to Bordone. George tries to save it, and they had two players, couldn't get to it in the corner. Hickey and Wilhelm, and the Corsairs draw with a nine. So once again, Barreto will serve. Floats over to Wilhelm, George with a set. And that's a kill by Hollis Hansen, the first year player from Parker, Colorado. Hansen able to send it off the block and down. Here's the senior captain from Marlboro, Connecticut, Ariana Rajahi. 23 service aces last season. Monaco. Decision in the middle, who is going to play it? And Vanessa Barreto not there in time. The line's now four points away from taking set one. Rajahi just got the ace this time. She floats it off to Alexander. Poked over the net by Wade. Played at the back line by the libero, Wilhelm. Huge dig by Barreto. Alexander sends it over. Free ball. That's a kill by number 21, Sydney Lyon. Whedon starting to be the aggressor here in the first set, and they are showing it right now. Service error for Raji. Marley Alexander serves. George ranging to her left. And a point for the Corsairs. Great awareness. That's number seven, Gabriella Monaco, the junior from Milford, New Hampshire. That serve by Alexander sent the Lions out of their spots. Here's another one. Going to get the ace. Goes beyond the defense right off of Rajahi and back. Two nothing run now for UMass Dartmouth. Playing offense, we'll see if they can continue it. George, Hanson, off the net goes down, and Whedon extends it by ten once again. Hollis Hanson, first game in collegiate action, making an impact right now, and she will get the ball for number two in white and blue. Strong serve. Wade pokes it over. George sets up Madrick. Down the line played by Pogorelic. Wade free ball to the corner. She gets the point. Great awareness by Kate Wade. Saw that Rajahi was not near the corner enough. The top kill leader for the Corsairs last season with 247 total kills. She had 16 matches with 10 kills or more for Kate Wade. Serve played first by Sydney Lyon. Madrick over the net sends a free ball. Wade with a roll shot. Diving dig by Rajahi. Kept alive. 
And past the back service line, too strong, set by Lyon. Lyon plays it down the far line, George. Over the net, set by Wilhelm. The set by DeZenzo. And again, the Corsairs starting to make a run. We'll get another point. Here's the setter, Zoe DeZenzo, who serves. And that goes wide. Wheaton College now on set point here in set number one. Bailey Madrick looking to do the honors. Madrick with 25 service aces last season. Poked to the corner, played by Wilhelm, set by George, off the block. Still another chance for Wheaton. George, smart decision, just volleys it over. Wade, cross court, dug up by Raji. George, Lyon. Goes cross court, played by Pogorelic. Sinker gets the point. Strong rally. Both of the teams, great defensive stops. And then number eight, Chelsea Sinker, the sophomore from Pureland, Texas, able to put, a, put that one away for UMass Dartmouth. Once again, Whedon on set point in set one. Played first by Lyon. George able to dive, sent over the net by Kelleher. Lang, played by Wilhelm. Magic to the back, whistle blows. And it will be a point for Whedon to close out set number one. So Wheaton College takes set number one here, Norton, Massachusetts, 25 to 17. As we will be back in a couple of moments here at the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center on the campus of Wheaton College in Norton, Massachusetts. Set number two coming up in a couple of moments. This is Sal Lopez today on the call on the New Max Sports Network. And we'll, be, we'll be back in a couple of moments.
And welcome inside the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center, the campus of Wheaton College in Norton, Massachusetts. We are back for set number two of women's volleyball action in tonight's season opening matchup, the 2022 women's volleyball season. Wheaton College taking the first set, 25-17. to 17. Both of the teams switching sides now as Wheaton will go right to left on the court with the white uniforms, blue numbers, blue letters. UMass Dartmouth with the dark blue jerseys. Yellow numbers, yellow letters will go left to right. Both of these teams with a great amount of player roster retainment in the offseason. Critical. Whedon only had two players graduate. Six players return that played at least 80 sets or greater. Same as UMass Dartmouth. They return six players who played in at least 80 sets last season. Hannah George, the senior setter from Duxbury, Massachusetts. She got the ball quite a bit to serve in the first set. She starts things off for Whedon. The set by Bordone. Pogorelic sets up Monaco, blocked again. Hansen was there along with Magic. Wilhelm plays it for Whedon. Over the net set by George. Monaco, roll shot by Ling, blocked by Hansen. Volley over the net. And Whedon will get the point, double hit, charge to the Corsairs. So George getting the ball a lot tonight. Had 17 total services his last season. Missing wide that time. That's how UMass Dartmouth gets their first point here of set two. Here's Devon Ling, the junior outside hitter from El Dorado Hills, California. Ling and Kate Wade, both from the state of California, the top two kill leaders from last season. That's a big kill. Cross court hit. Finds the hardwood and down by Emily Hickey, the senior from Kenny Bunk, Maine. Big response by the Lions as they started to be the aggressor in the first set towards the second portion. And once again, we'll see if that kill sparks energy here for the home team. Ariana Raji, he serves. Played to the back line. Off the net. Couldn't put it over. Rajahi, a captain, along with her teammate. And libero, number 23, Sophie Wilhelm. Wade pokes it off to Rajahi. Set by George. Hansen mistiming the jump. Results in the UMass Dartmouth point. Here's the libero in white and blue. For the Corsairs, first year player from Wayne, New Jersey. Emily Pogorelic, number five. Before we do, play has been stopped on the court. We had play stopped in the court earlier in the first set. Looks like it's geared towards the scores table at the moment. Whoever wins this match tonight will have the upper hand in the series. This will be the 17th time that these two programs have met each other. Series tied at eight wins apiece. Whedon winning the last meeting at home here in Emerson Gym in 2017. That was in three sets. Quick turnaround for Whedon College as they will be hosting two teams on Saturday. Emmanuel College... And Salem State, part of a try match. Whedon will play Emmanuel first at 11 a.m. And then Salem State at 3 p.m. Both of those opponents, Emmanuel from the GNAC and Salem State from the MASCAC. And then for UMass Dartmouth, got a little bit more time to rest up. So they will have six days until their next matchup. They are at home on a Wednesday night, 6 p.m. against Clark next Wednesday. That will be their second new MAC opponent of the season. 
UMass Dartmouth will play two opponents on the following Saturday, September 10th, in a try match. That will be against Husson University and Framingham State. So it looks like they're still trying to finalize some things out around the scores table. Usually statistics to update, but website is not up and running so far for the statistics. Ten first-year players playing their first collegiate matchup for women's volleyball today. Five each for both programs. Only one senior in the UMass Dartmouth roster. And that is Vanessa Barreto from Natick, Massachusetts. She was the libero last season, but they went and started number five. First-year player Emily Pogorelic for this match tonight. We got the start in white and blue. We in college with five seniors, also four juniors on the roster, so nine total upper class players. Right now, we are on a pause in action. They are still trying to finalize some stuff at the moment at the scores table. Both of these teams looking to surpass expectations this season. Wheaton College returning the majority of their roster from last season. Nine of 13 players from last season. Only two players graduated. Hale McCree and Adara Hamilton. Whedon have to be selected number seven of 11 teams in the new Mac of the preseason poll. And then UMass Dartmouth selected six out of nine teams in their little East preseason poll. Since we're on the stoppage, we'll go through that for quite a bit here. So new Mac conference preseason poll looks like this. MIT... Went all the way to the NCAA Tournament Regionals last year. They won in the Cambridge Regional hosting it. They are the number one projected team out of the new Mac. Babson, number two projected team, also went to the NCAA Tournament last season. Seema Springfield got a tournament appearance. Springfield at number three. Smith at four. Coast Guard at five. Emerson at six. Whedon at seven. Wellesley projected to be eighth. Ninth is Clark. WPI in tenth. And Mount Holyoke. Rounding out the conference at number 11. And then over in the Little East, UMass Dartmouth selected six. Nine teams in the Little East Conference. The projected top finisher happens to be Eastern Connecticut State with 57 total points. They were in number five seed last season. Happened to be the Little East Conference tournament runner-up. Plymouth State, best record in the Little East last season. They went 8-0 and undefeated. Regular season champions in 2021. They project second in the Little East this season. UMass Boston represented the conference in the NCAA tournament. UMass Boston projected third. Number four comes in Western Connecticut State. Number five is Keene State. UMass Dartmouth at sixth. University of Southern Maine at a close seventh. Rhode Island College at eighth. And then rounding out the ninth team in the Little East, that is Castleton. So that's the conference landscape projected for these two teams. Of course, looking to surpass those expectations going into this season. They got a good reason of doing so. Both of these teams with major roster retainment, keeping a lot of the critical pieces this offseason, the players that happen to be top kill leaders, top setters, top defensive specialists from both of the squads from last season.
where the schedule comes in handy for Whedon. That's not going to be this weekend, but the following weekend, they're going to play a really difficult schedule. That is out in New York University. They'll have a road trip at NYU September 9th, September 10th. That's where they will face New York University, Amherst College, and DeSales University on their three-game road trip at NYU. So all three of those opponents that Whedon will face on September 9th and September 10th at New York University road trip, those three opponents with a record of 63 wins and 20 losses last season, they will face number seven nationally ranked New York University, which went 28-2 in 2021. They lost in the NCAA tournament regional finals against Trinity University of San Antonio, Texas. Amherst College went 16 and 5 last season, and then DeSales University went 19 and 13. That is a tough schedule coming up for Whedon after this weekend, as they will face Emmanuel and Salem State first, and then their big weekend against those three I just mentioned: NYU, Amherst, and DeSales. And then the first conference matchup, Whedon will host Springfield here at Emerson Gym. That will happen on Tuesday, September 13th at 7 p.m. Whedon College taking the first set, 25-17. to 17. Here in the second set early on, 3-2. to two. As finally we have the statistics finalized, we will go over this. Season opener here, Whedon College. 12 kills as a team on 24 total attacks so far, leading to 12 total assists. Top players in this match so far, Bailey Magic with 5 total kills for Whedon. First year player, Hollis Hansen having a great start. Three kills out of four total attacks so far in this match. Also, with three service aces at the moment for Hansen. For UMass Dartmouth, two kills between Chelsea Sanker and Devon Lang. Top kill leader from last season for the Corsairs, Kate Wade, yet to get on the board tonight. Whedon College leading the total kills column 12 to 7. Hitting percentage right now is a big difference. Whedon hitting 417 as a team. UMass Dartmouth hitting just 111. Four service aces by Whedon compared to two service aces by the Corsairs. Quick scoreboard update out of the new Mac at the moment. Coast Guard winning in three sets at Mitchell today in their season opener. Endicott leading WPI. Endicott looking to take set number two as well. They took the first set against WPI 25 to 19. Second set in favor of Endicott 21 to 14. That match is being played at Endicott. Out in the Little East, Plymouth State winning in three sets today over Colby Sawyer. 
in the University of Southern Maine. Taking on St. Joseph's of Maine. St. Joseph's taking the first set, but Southern Maine looking to take the second set. Currently up 23-17 to 17 in set two. So still in the stoppage in time here in Norton, Massachusetts. We have been for a while. We were for a couple minutes in the first set. And now the stoppage has gone on for quite a bit of time. Both of these teams, though, one thing to point out that's similar, they were strong serving teams. Already six total service aces in this match, four by Whedon, two by UMass Dartmouth. Whedon, with their strength, controlling the game through those serves. Whedon, 32nd in the nation last season, averaging 2.66 service aces per set. That was the second best in the new Mac. And then UMass Dartmouth, same thing. 34th nationally in 2021, right behind Whedon, averaging 2.65 service aces per set. And so far, Hollis Hansen with three of those service aces, while Ariana Rajahi has got one. And for UMass Dartmouth, it's split between one each by Sabrina Bordone and Marley Alexander for the service aces. Hannah George with 10 total assists for the setter from Duxbury, Massachusetts. For UMass Dartmouth, Marley Alexander with three total assists, and then Zoe Desenzo with two. So finally, we will get back to action here. The so stoppage took quite a bit of time, but they finally settled it. So this will be UMass Dartmouth to serve. This is number five in white and blue, the libero. First year player from Wayne, New Jersey, Emily Pogorelic. Played down the far line, first by Rajahi. Cross court, Wade. Free ball set by Monaco. Set by George, right side attack, Madrick. Off the block, gets the kill. Kill number six in a match by Bailey Madrick. Top kill leader so far tonight. Top kill leader last season as well for Whedon with 230 total in 2021. Hanson now will serve. Missing wide. Strong serve though. But too much on it. First set started out fairly close in at Wheaton College as they got to around the 8-9 mark on the scoreboard. Started to stretch that lead. They stretched it to as much as 11 in the first set. Wheaton taking the first set. UMass Dartmouth tried with a comeback. But Wheaton taking the first set tonight, 25-17. Corsairs with a better hitting percentage in the second set to start off, but it's dropped now to the negatives for UMass Dartmouth. Whedon with a great first set, hitting 476. That number in the second set has dropped to 200. Total cumulative hitting percentage, though, for Whedon still hovering well above 400 at 423. UMass Dartmouth hitting just 107 as a team. DeZenzo serves. Played by Whedon. Over the net, sent by Kelleher. Roll shot by Wade. Wilhelm, far side. Free ball by Rajahi. DeZenzo sets up an outside attack. Wade off the block. Whedon with a chance. George, Madrick. Gets the kill, number seven. Off of Barreto. 
right to the UMass Dartmouth bench area. Bailey Magic closing out the season strong, career high 19 kills in the season finale against Clark. And she picks up where she left off last season. Seven total kills now by Magic. Hitting 700 in the match. Here's Isabel Coca, first time in the match tonight. The junior from San Marcos, California. She had 20 service aces last season. And she gets one right there. What a way to start off 2022 for Coca with the ace. Coca played in 75 sets last season, 78 total digs. Coca again. Dug up in front of it by Pogo Relic. Poked over by Sanker. Diving dig kept alive. Couldn't put it over though by Kelleher. Kate Wade yet to record a kill. The top kill leader with 247 last season. The to serve too long. And that's an ace. What a spot. On the corner for a moment. And then... It's going to be rolled at UMass Dartmouth point. So after the end of that. So it appears to be a touch of the net by Whedon. UMass Dart Dartmouth gets the call for the officials. And they will get another point right back. Corsair starting to make a run right now. One point difference in set number two. Here's Marley Alexander, middle hitter, junior from Ashburn, Virginia, serves. Set by George. Strong kill. That's Emily Hickey. Hickey up to three total kills now in the match. In blue and white, the libero from Saunders Town, Rhode Island, Sophie Wilhelm. Saker. Sent over by Lang. Set by George. Off the block. And a point for Whedon. That's Hollis Hansen making an impact. Fourth kill in the match for the first year player from Co Parker, Colorado. Wilhelm. Serves it to the back row. Played by Pogo Relic. Strong kill right down by Maggie Sullivan. Second kill of the match by Sullivan. Number one, the junior from Acton, Mass. Sabrina Bordeaux, first year player from Massapequa, New York. Sends it over to net. Roll shot by Coca. Bordone sets up a hit. Goes in the middle. Gabrielle and Monaco gets the point. So a couple runs here by UMass Dartmouth to get this match closer. Point for Whedon off the service error. Hannah George been serving quite a bit tonight. George yet to have an ace though. Played first by Pogo Relic. Tapped over by Sullivan. Sullivan with another kill. So starting to find a rhythm now with Maggie Sullivan in this match. Tied with Chelsea Sanker for the top kill leader. Both with three for UMass Dartmouth. 
Ling serves. George. It's going to be a lift violation called on Whedon. Charge to George. Unhappy about the call right there, but they were trying to. She was trying to set up one of her teammates to get a kill opportunity. Tough ball to be played, though. There's George with a set. Over the net sent by Hanson. Wade off the block. Played to the corner by Lyon. Magic this time. Finds the court. Gets the kill. Number eight by Bailey Magic tonight. Back and forth set number two. Whedon leading the majority of it, but the Corsairs right there responding. They will not go down without a fight. Raja, he serves. Played first by Pogo Relic, set by Bordone. Off the block by Wade, another chance for the Corsairs. Poked over the top by Sullivan. Set by George, pushed to the outside. It's a point for Whedon. That's Ariana Rajahi who gets the point. And now Rajahi will serve once again. Spirals right to Pogo Relic. Gets the ace. Great serve by Rajahi. Spiraling all the way to the back row. And Whedon College upping their lead to three now in set number two on their home floor here in their season opener. 13 to 10, the Wheaton College leads as they are up one set to zero over UMass Dartmouth in the season opener for a women's volleyball. We'll be back in a couple moments on the New Max Sports Network. Thirteen to ten, the Wheaton College leads in the first match of the season for women's volleyball action. Bailey Magic, strong start for the top kill leader in 2021 for the Lions. Magic already with eight total kills, hitting 727 in the match. By far the top kill leader. After Magic comes two players for Wheaton with three kills: Hollis Hansen and Emily Hickey. And then a tie for three kills for the top kill leader for UMass Dartmouth. That's between Maggie Sullivan and Chelsea Sanker. Whedon will get the ball here with number 12, Ariana Rajahi, the senior captain from Marlborough, Connecticut, with the lines up by three. Off the block by Wayne. Nice diving dig by George. Magic with a free ball. Monaco. The set. Outside hit by Wade. Rejected. Hollis Hansen. First year player in her first collegiate match, making an impact along with Hannah George at the front right side. Kate Wade, the top kill leader from last season for the Corsairs, has been shut out. No kills, had 247 last season. The kill that time will go to Maggie Sullivan. Sullivan up to four now. She is the top kill leader for the Corsairs. Pogo Relic will serve. Pogo Relic with one kill tonight. And a service error now. Now. 
Six service errors by the Corsairs now. Four by U four by Whedon. Whedon outnumbering UMass Dartmouth in the total aces category. Six to three. Hollis Hansen. Strong start. Off of Barreto. Free ball over the net though. Hansen. George. Blocked. Tried to save it. Nice job by Hansen. But it's going to be a double hit charge to Whedon. Zoe DeCenzo now will serve. She has four aces total in this match. That's the total ace, or four assists in this match. That's the top setter leader from last season. Hannah George leading the assist for Whedon with 13. Attacking error, charge of the Corsairs. So Whedon goes up 16-12. Isabel Coca, one service ace on their first serve of the match. She is back into the match now, will serve for the junior from San Marcos, California. Strong serve played to the back line by Pogorelic. Blocked, point by Whedon. Kate Wade denied. That's the first year player. They bring in Julia Wingler. Middle hitter from Fuquay Verena, North Carolina, who gets the block. Wade. Set over by Pogorelic. Set by George. And too long. Lion with an attacking error. Kate Wade now to serve the sophomore from San Clemente, California. Took up first by Coca. Off the backhands of DeZenzo. Roll shot over the net by Wade. Wilhelm. Wade plays it. DeZenzo. Outside opportunity. Nice spot to the corner. Devon Ling puts it away for the Corsairs. So that's Ling's third kill in the match. She was the number two kill leader last season behind Kate Wade for UMass Dartmouth. Devon Ling with 191 total kills. And the kill right back. Big response by Whedon, number 33, Julia Wingler. Her first collegiate kill off the block and down for the middle hitter. Service error for the Lions. That's on Sydney Lion. Whedon rotating a good amount of their first year players in this match. Hollis Hansen with three total kills. Sydney Lion has two. And Julia Wingler with one. Point awarded to UMass Dartmouth. Double hit charge to Whedon. As here's Marley Alexander who will serve. Alexander, number three on the team in kills last season. Played down the far side first by Lyon. Over the net, cross court set by Anna Shaheen. Set. And a kill off the block goes down. Once again, that's Julia Wingler, second kill in the match. Sophie Wilhelm, number 23, captain from Saunderstown, Rhode Island, serves. Poked over, gets the points. With a free ball opportunity, that is Hollis Hansen having a stellar first collegiate match. Now with four kills. Wilhelm again serves. A set by DeZenzo. 
Ling sends it over. Wilhelm George. Hansen goes to the corner, played by Wade. Free ball. Didn't play it. And a point for UMass Dartmouth. Sophie Wilhelm decided not to gamble, but it touched the line. So the Corsairs get the point. Here's Sabrina Bordone who will serve. First year setter from Massapequa, New York. Shaheen. And couldn't get it over the net. The Corsairs once again starting to make a run. 20 to 18 as they close the gap in the first set but couldn't come back. Whedon taking set number one, 25-17. And now it's only a one point differential in set two. Bordone serves. Hansen, dug up by Wade, kept alive. Free ball over the net by Bordone. George with a set. They will go outside, Shaheen blocked. Tapped over, off of George and out. And this is a tie match in the second set now. 20 to 20. UMass Dartmouth coming from behind. Could be an opportunity to take a timeout if you're reading coming up soon as the Corsairs have taken a lead. And they will. So Craig Letourneau takes a timeout now for Whedon. First timeout charged in the match for the Lions. UMass Dartmouth starting to find momentum now for the Corsairs. As they lead set number two, 21 to 20. At the moment, Whedon taking set number one, 25 to 17. The momentum starting to shift. A couple big attacks as of late here for the Corsairs. As we'll be back in a few moments. Things getting interesting right now. Great second set. 21 to 20 to score. Close and competitive as we'll be back in a few moments here on the New Max Sports Network. And welcome back inside the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center, the campus of Wheaton College in Norton, Massachusetts. UMass Dartmouth has captured a lead here in set number two, 21 to 20 against Wheaton College. Wheaton College taking the first set, 25 to 17. This is Sal Lopez in the call tonight on the New Max Sports Network. The first match of the season between these two teams. George sets up Hanson, who wasn't able to poke it over. Tough opportunity, wide right. And UMass Dartmouth on the roll now, leading by two. Service ever. Charge the Bordone. This might be the opportunity that we didn't hope for now to get the ball back and see if they can start to control the match. Hannah George now will serve. Cross court. Puts it in, right in front of the back service line. 22 all now. And that's the first service ace tonight for George. George, the assist leader with 15 total assists. Set, or it will go over the net by Bordone. Cross court hit by Shaheen. Wade, too far back. Whedon. Leading set two now by one. Kate Wage is yet to get into a rhythm, hitting negative 200. One total kill and four errors so far in attacking. Another point, the front line by Whedon. Now the Lions 
are on set point in set number two. Getting the ball back just so critical for Whedon. That's how they were able to control their points last season for the Lions. 32nd nationally in the average of service aces per game. UMass Dartmouth was right behind them last season at 34th. George sets a magic. What a way to put it away. The top kill leader in this match. They save her for the final hit of the second set. Hannah George, 16 total assists. Bailey Magic up to nine total kills. She is the match leader doubling everybody on the court tonight. Number two kill leader for Whedon, Hollis Hansen has four. Emily Hickey with three. And for UMass Dartmouth currently, four kills by Maggie Sullivan, three each by Chelsea Sinker and Devon Lang. 25-22, Whedon College takes set two. As we'll be back in a couple moments here, Sal Lopez in the call tonight on the New Max Sports Network for set number three from Norton, Massachusetts. As we will join back in action in a few moments. Welcome back to Whedon College at the Emerson Gym, the Haas Athletic Center, the campus of Whedon College in Norton, Massachusetts. Sal Lopez in the call tonight on the New Max Sports Network. Whedon College leading two sets to zero in their season opener against UMass Dartmouth. Whedon taking the first set, 25 to 17. They were pushed in set number two. 25-22 though, able to come out victorious after their timeout for Whedon. They went on a four zip run to close out set two. Now on to action for set number three. Bailey Madrick, the top kill leader, with nine total kills tonight. Hollis Hansen with a strong showing in their first collegiate debut. Four total kills, three service aces by Hansen, three kills by Emily Hickey. Sydney Lyon, strong first match debut as well, with two kills and three digs for Whedon. For UMass Dartmouth, Maggie Sullivan leading the kill column with four. Chelsea Sanker, Devon Ling with three each. Emily Pogo Relic with two and three digs. Gabriella Monaco with two kills. The number one and three kill leaders, though, from last season, Kate Wade and Marley Alexander, yet to get going in this match. Wade with just one total kill. And then Marley Alexander yet to record a kill in this match. She does have three assists, though. Top assist leader for Whedon, that is Hannah George, setting up her teammates, hitting, allowing Whedon 
to tally in 21 total kills, 16 of those assists by Hannah George. Top assist leader for UMass Dartmouth, that is Zoe DeZenzo. She has five total assists. Sophie Wilhelm, the libero for Whedon, leading the dig column with eight. Hannah George with four digs. And then for UMass Dartmouth, top dig leader with three with a libero, Emily Pogorelic. Whedon College outnumbered UMass Dartmouth tonight in total kills, 21 to 15. Hitting percentage, Whedon hitting 312 as a team. UMass Dartmouth hitting 4140 as a team. Assists currently, Whedon with 19, UMass Dartmouth with 13. Digs in favor of Whedon, 19 to 13. Service aces has been a strong way that Whedon has been able to take advantage of this game. Seven total aces by the Lions compared to four so far by the Corsairs. Whedon College is one set away from taking the upper hand in the series. Both of these teams enter this matchup with eight wins each against each other. This is the 17th all-time meeting between the two programs. Whedon winning the last matchup back in 2017 in three sets. So Whedon sends their six onto the court. Hollis Hansen, Anna Shaheen, Hannah George, Sophie Wilhelm, Cindy Lyon, and Bailey Madrick. UMass Dartmouth has their six on the court as well. With Kate Wade, Sabrina Bordeaux, and Marley Alexander, Gabriella Monaco. Emily Pogorelic and Maggie Sullivan they will send out here. So Alexander will actually go towards the bench. That's Devon Ling, number 17, who is out on the court. UMass Darkwood will serve first now, start the third set. Floating to the back line, played first by Lyon. George sets up Shaheen, goes out, gets the point. Second kill of the match by Anna Shaheen, the junior from Portsmouth, New Hampshire. George will serve. Cross court play by Pogorelic. Tipped over. Free ball. George sets up a right side attack. Madrick to the corner. Puts it away. Double digit kills now by Bailey Madrick, number four, the senior from Barrington, Illinois. She is poised to have a great season for Magic, the top kill leader with 230 last season. Wilhelm with a dig. George sets up Magic again. Cross court, played by number seven, Monaco. Couldn't go over the net, and the Lions get the point. George spirals the serve far side. The set by Bordone. And that's a point for UMass Dartmouth. Here's Vanessa Barreto, the senior from Natick, Massachusetts. She is the lone senior on the Corsairs. She will serve. Barreto sends it off to Wilhelm. George with a set. Hansen spikes it over, gets the point. Fifth kill in the match for her collegiate debut for a Hollis Hansen. Sends the lines on top by three. Number one, Anna Shaheen now will serve. Shaheen able to get the ace. Eight total service aces, Whedon doubling 
UMass Dartmouth in the match. The Corsairs were just four. Shaheen, strong serve off of Pogo Relic. Wade. Rolshaw off the block. And a point for the Corsairs. Ball goes back to Pogo Relic now who will serve. Wilhelm, George, line goes cross court, dug up by Pogo Relic. Wade. That's a big kill there by Kate Wade. Second kill of the match. We'll see if that is able to boost up some confidence there for Wade, who's been silent throughout this whole match. And she is the top kill leader from last season for the Corsairs. George ranging to her left. Right down the line to the corner, Sydney Lyon puts it away. Beautiful spot for Whedon. Sydney Lyon in their first match tonight, the first year play from Western Connecticut. Up to three total kills now for number 21 in white and blue. Hollis Hansen, also a first year player, just served. Alexander puts it over to Hansen. Lyon off the block. Lyon again sends it over. Alexander got blocked. Wade gets blocked. Diving dig up forward by Barreto. At the front of the net, it's a point for Whedon. Julia Wingler, number 33, making an impact. Sends it to the middle of the floor unoccupied. First-year players flying all over the court in their first collegiate matchup tonight for Whedon. Hollis Hansen, Sydney Lyon, Joya Wingler, all making a big impact here in the season opener. Shaheen with a service error. Zoe Desenzo now will serve. She ranked number six in the Little East last season, averaging 7.63 assists per set. Floats the serve to Shaheen. George sets a Wingler. Wilhelm. Line goes cross court. Wade. Desenzo. Wade taps it over. Wow, what a dig off the pancake by Line to keep that alive somehow, some way. Off the fingertips of George. Shaheen. Wilhelm, free ball. Set by DeZenzo. George to her left, able to dig it up. Here goes Madrick. Just wide. Point for the Corsairs. Incredible defense by both of the teams on that long last rally. What an incredible effort by Sydney Lyon. Somehow, some way. Right in front of the net, she was able to dig it up via a pancake. Hannah George with a great dig as well in that last rally. Looked like Magic was going to put it away. Went wide right of the antenna. DeZenzo once again will serve. Lion, George, here's Magic. And a point for Whedon. Double hit for the Corsairs. And now Ariana Rajahi will come into the game. She's one of two captains this season. Both of the defensive specialists, Sophie Wilhelm, the libero, the other captain. Rajahi serves, played by Wade. DeZenzo. And Sanker couldn't send it over. Whedon College hitting 328 in the match. UMass Dartmouth hitting just 167. Marley off the net play by Wilhelm. George, twist and turn, gets the point. Catches the defense off guard by Hannah George. And that's her first kill in the match. 
George late in the season, able to add that to her repertoire. Did it quite a bit against Gordon on senior day last October. Here's George with a set. Outside, it will go with Lyon. To the corner, it goes for the kill. Kill number four to match for number 21, Sydney Lyon. Strong's third set now for Wheaton College as they extend the lead 11 to 5. Up two sets to none tonight in the season opener. We'll be back in a couple minutes here in the New Max Sports Network. Bailey Magic, top kill leader tonight, by far with 11 total kills. Hollis Hansen with five. Top two kill leaders for Whedon. Maggie Sullivan, Devon Ling, both with four for UMass Dartmouth. So we'll be back in a few moments on the New Max Sports Network. Eleven to five, Wheaton College leading set number three, taking the first two sets in the matchup tonight. Here as we welcome you back to the Emerson Gym, at the Haas Athletic Center in Norton, Massachusetts. Sal Lopez in the call tonight on the New Max Sports Network. The Lions will have the ball now with Roger. He will who will serve. Bogo Relic first one to play it. And it's a kill for number eight, Chelsea Sinker. The sophomore from Pure Land, Texas. Results tonight from the New Mac. Endicott sweeping WPI in three sets. And Coast Guard winning at Mitchell in three sets. Wheaton College looking to take this one to three sets. That certainly helps. With a kill by number 33, Julia Wingler. New Mac Conference, super strong conference when it comes to women's volleyball. Top three teams in the preseason projected poll, MIT, Babson, and Springfield all went to the NCAA tournament last season. Wheaton College projected at seventh out of 11 teams in the New Mac in the preseason poll. UMass Dartmouth projected sixth in the Little East out of nine programs. A kill for the Coast Corsairs. Number 17, Devon Lane gets the point. Laying up to four total kills tonight in this match. Laying the number two kill leader last season behind Kate Wade. Wade with just two she's been held to tonight. And then Marley Alexander, the number three kill leader, ranked number seven in the Little East with a 317 hitting percentage, yet to get on the board tonight with a kill. Here's Alexander who will serve. Played first by Rajahi. Shaheen off a block and a point for the Corsairs. Strong down the right. Outside, number eight, number one, Chelsea Sinker, Maggie Sullivan, both there for the denial. Alexander serves. Straight line played by Rajahi. And a double hit charge to the Lions. So here comes back UMass Dartmouth. Both of these teams, strong serving teams from last season. Lion, Rajahi, Shaheen with a free ball. Dezenzo sets up Sinker. Rajahi plays it. Over the net sent by Lion. Tapped over to the middle. Nice defense by Whedon there between Rajahi and Shaheen. 
And a point for UMass Dartmouth. Double hit again, charged the win. And Maggie Sullivan, the one who was able to hit it over, forced the double hit. 12 to 10, once again the Corsairs won't go down without a fight. Both of these teams, strong serving teams last season. And the Corsairs get an ace. Marley Alexander with an ace. And this is only a one point differential now in set number three. Whedon last season, 32nd in the nation, averaging 2.66 service aces per set. UMass Dartmouth right behind them at number 34 in the nation, averaging 2.65 service aces per set. And UMass Dartmouth tightening the gap right now in the third set. Eight aces tonight by Whedon, five by the Corsairs. As we will be back in a couple minutes from now, 12 to 11. Set number three in North Massachusetts on the New Max Sports Network. We'll be back in a few moments. Back to action, 12 to 11 to score. UMass Dartmouth will get the ball now to serve with Marley Alexander. She just had a service ace on the last opportunity. This time, Whedon sends a free ball over by Shaheen. Set by Desenzo with a kill by number eight, Chelsea Sanker. Sanker now joins the five club with Maggie Sullivan and Devon Ling. The top three kill leaders for the match for the Corsairs. The score is tied at 12. Whedon leading two sets to zero, 12 to 12 in set three. Off the fingertips backwards, and that will be an ace for UMD. Marley Alexander once again. Corsair starting to control the third set. Off the block. And another point for UMass Dartmouth. Alexander will keep on serving. Alexander up to three service aces, three assists, and two digs tonight. Rajahi with a dig. There's Flack. Shaheen over the net. Cross court play by Wade. Dezenzo poked over. Free ball by Wilhelm. Alexander. Dezenzo. With a dig by Rajahi. Push to the outside. Shaheen. And a point for Whedon. Player is down by the Corsairs. And that is number eight, Chelsea Sinker. who is being attended to right now at the moment. 14-13, UMass Dartmouth leading in set number three. As we will be back in a couple moments here. Good to see Sanker able to get up on their feet. She heads towards the bench area. Sanker having a big impact in this match tonight. She was tied for the top kill leader for the Corsairs with five, hitting 231 in the match. Sinker playing in 13 to 22 matches last season in their first year for UMass Dartmouth. Now a sophomore. 
Had 42 total kills last season. She's being looked at by the athletic staff at the moment. Never a good sign with injuries, especially when it happens this early on in the season. Wishing the best, and hopefully everything is okay as the Corsairs keep building on their third set lead. They get a point. Currently, some of the stronger players are out of the match at the moment for Whedon. Bailey Madrick, Hannah George. UMass Dartmouth with a momentum as Bordone serves, gets the ace. 16-13 for the Corsairs here in the third set. Bordone with three service aces tonight. Battle at the net. It will be a point for Whedon. So here's Joy on the Flack, the junior from St. Petersburg, Florida. Had five service aces last season. She will serve. Finished last season fifth in the team with 108 total kills. Spiked over the net. Point for Anna Shaheen for the Lions. That was off the serve by Flack. And once again, Flack will serve. Spiraling to the libero, Pogorelic. Poked over to the middle, point for the Corsairs. Maggie Sullivan, top kill leader for UMass Dartmouth tonight. Sullivan hitting 333 in the match. She is up to six total kills. And Lang will send it back into her own net. We didn't looking to see if they can even things up here at 17 with this opportunity. Anna Shaheen will get the ball to serve. Emily Hickey comes back into the game, substitutes for Sydney Lyon. Push to the outside, off the block. Chance here for Weed, and they will go with Hickey. Blocked at the net, another chance. Madrick as well back into action. Gets the kill. Skipped off the net, found his way down. Bailey Madrick with 12 total kills. The match leader. 17 all. Whedon taking the first two sets tonight. 25-17, 25-22. Shaheen will serve. And that will go too long. Corsairs by one. Emily Pogo Relic with two kills, four digs, yet to find a service ace. But she's been the top first year player tonight in action for the Corsairs. And she will get her first ace. The Corsairs coming in strong here in the third set. They were close to taking set number two. They led to a Whedon timeout, 22-21. Whedon closed out set number two in a four-zip run. Push to the outside, Hickey goes cross-court. Twist and turn. What a dig by Flack to save it. And after all that, a point for Whedon. That's the difference between a 2017 match and now a 1918 match. Strong defense for Wheaton College. And it's been a great first match for Hollis Hansen. 
but she sends it just past the back service line for the service error. So number nine, Zoe Desenzo, the setter, now will serve. Played first by Coca. Set for Magic. Magic sends it to the back row for the kill. Now it's Joanna Flack who set up Magic. That kill number just keeps on pushing up for Bailey Magic now. 13 total in the match. Hitting above 600 for the senior from Barrington, Illinois. Her career high is 19 in the season finale last year against Clark. Rajahi spirals to serve. DeZenzo. And that's a first year player, number six, Raylan Perigo, who was not able to send it over. Familiar territory for Whedon. The score is 20 all. It was like that in the second set. Here we are in set three. And they close down a four zip run, trailing 21 20. Alexander over to Wilhelm. Flack goes to the outside. Hickey blocked to the net. Another chance. Flack. Poked over the net by number 33, Wingler. Free ball by Perigo. And out of position that time was Whedon. Flack was trying to set a Wingler on the right side. Wingler not there in time. 21-20. And number 20, Kate Wade, the top kill leader from last season, will serve. Wade with just two kills being held to tonight. Nice diving dig by Rajahi to keep that alive. Rajahi, one of two captains in the Lions roster along with Sophie Wilhelm. Another dig over the net set by Rajahi. And the point for UMass Dartmouth finding the corner. It's Devon Ling with a kill. And a timeout taken by Craig Letourneau for Whedon. 22 to 20 in set number three. UMass Dartmouth looking to steal set three and keep the match alive tonight in the season opener. Bailey Magic, 14 total kills, the kill leader by far in this match. Doubling everybody else. Maggie Sullivan, top kill leader for UMass Dartmouth. She has seven. Wheaton College leading two sets to zero. UMass Dartmouth, though, looking to extend the match to a fourth set. The Corsairs leading by two towards the tail end of set three. We'll be back in a few moments here on the New Max Sports Network. Twenty-two to twenty, the scores. We welcome you back in to the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center. Season opener for women's volleyball action tonight here. UMass Dartmouth leading set number three, twenty-two twenty against Whedon. Whedon College up two sets to zero. Strong kill. Back from the timeout. That is the first-year player, Julia Wingler. We'll see if this is a momentum shift here to close out the match. Wingler up to four kills. The first year players look like this. Hollis Hansen leads Whedon with six. Wingler with four. Same as Sydney Lyon. Four as well. And Whedon with another point to tie it up at 22. 
Alexander tried to poke it over, wasn't able to do so. Busy weekend coming up for Wheaton College. They will have two matches on Saturday, part of a tri-match here in Norton, Massachusetts, hosting Emmanuel at 11 a.m. and Salem State at 3 p.m. Set by Desenzo, pushes it out to Ling with a roll shot. Shaheen to the line it goes, gets the kill. Whedon with a 3-0 run back from the timeout. And it'll be a timeout taken by Justin Turco for UMass Dartmouth. What a response right back for the Lions. Looking to see if they could close it out. They are two points from doing so. 23-22 in the season opener. Sal Lopez in the call tonight in the New Max Sports Network will be back in a couple moments here of action on the New Max Sports Network. Whedon College up in set number three, looking to close it out in their season opener tonight against UMass Dartmouth. We come back from the timeout, 23-22 is the score. Whedon will have the ball here to serve. It is Sydney Lyon, number 21. Serve gets called off due to the buzzer sounding as the serve was going off, so Lyon will try it again. Lion serves, played by Pogo Relic. Tapped off the antenna. Perigo put it off the antenna, and now it is match point for the Lions. So here's Sydney Lyon once again. Her first collegiate match of her career. She's got four kills tonight. Lyon will serve, the first year player from Western Connecticut. Off Ling, Pogo Relic, volleyed over by the setter, Dezenzo. Outside push, Shaheen. Pogo Relic, Ling, roll shot, played by Wilhelm. Tapped over the net, and that will do it. Number 33, Julio Wingler puts it away for the kill. And that's twice tonight Wheaton College has come from behind a late stage timeout to win the match. Twenty-five twenty-two in set number three. Wheaton College able to close it out tonight. Bailey Magic, fourteen total kills in the match. The kill leader. Hollis Hansen, great start to her collegiate career. She had six total kills tonight in the match for Hansen. Anna Shaheen, Julia Wingler both finished with five total kills. Wingler with a final kill tonight. Sydney Lyon with four kills. Impressive start by the first year players. Hansen, Wingler, and Lyon combining as Wingler's updated kill number one to six. So that is 16 kills tonight. By the top three first year players, Hanson, Wingler, and Lyon in this match tonight for Whedon. 39 kills by Whedon, 25 by UMass Dartmouth. Stay tuned for a post game interview coming up shortly here. Sal Lopez in the call tonight on the New Max Sports Network. Whedon College wins their first match of the season, 1 0. UMass Dartmouth drops their first match of the season. Close competitive. Sets number two, set number three between these two programs here. Whedon taking set one, 25-17, and then set number two, set number three, both 25 to 22. 
in sets two and three tonight. Coming up, post-game interview later. So stay tuned for that. We'll be back in a little bit on the New Max Sports Network.
Sal Lopez on the call today, joining in with Hollis Hansen, first-year player. Tremendous match for you today. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. What led to your success tonight in the court? Um, honestly, it's just been the entire team putting in the work during the preseason, doing two practices a day, lifting, just all of it. And it's really the teamwork, and honestly, I think it's a lot of how much the team has bonded and how close we've gotten over this short beginning. Yes, I could definitely tell out there on the court, you, you were having a tremendous impact first game of the season. Six kills, yes. and I believe three service aces in the first match. And looking to build off that success throughout future matches here to come. Mm -hmm. um, how's the first couple seasons been for you transitioning, or first couple weeks been for you transitioning out, out to this uh, collegiate level? Um, it's actually been really good. The competition is definitely faster than it's been in my previous experience in high school and club, but it's been a lot of fun. I've loved playing with all the girls. Everyone is so talented, and it's a really great conference and just a lot of really great teams that we're playing, and I'm super excited. That's great. I think uh, one of the big keys is leadership on the program, and you have, I believe it's nine upper-class players to like yeah. guide you along mm -hmm. on your first season, which is been like I can imagine like a great experience going through and then um, also like how the majority of the roster came back that could have like a big role as well through like the team chemistry do you think that you've seen that like so far through the first couple of weeks of practices yeah yeah and I mean we have two designated captains but honestly every single person on this team is a leader and it's great to be around and get to know all of these great people and obviously Almost the entire team came back, and everyone loves each other, which has been super helpful to us freshmen for the first couple of weeks here. That is great to hear. Hollis Hansen, six kills in the match tonight with three service aces. Whedon looking to keep on a roll. They will take on Emmanuel and Salem State coming up on Saturday, looking to play a big role in games number two and three. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you so much.